Welcome back to Kepler's everyone. Today we are going to be gearing up to fight the first boss. But starting out, we're going to go up to Matthew's lab thing there and just kind of look around and I'll show you around up there a bit, I think. But I am going to steal some apples and berries and see what those sell for. Now to get to his lab, just go over to this thing here, which is right above where you spawned in here. And then you can activate it. And from here, you can go to the lab right there. So let's teleport on over. Hmm? Who are you? Excuse me, WM69 asked me to come here. I don't know who I am. I just woke up from the pod. That's a lie, I've been awake for a while now. Where's Danny? Have you seen her? Why are you holding her key card? Danny was kidnapped by Mecco. WM69 gave me the key card. He said I could exchange some supplies from you. It's been four years since Danny last provided materials for me. Four yeah. years? I knew something must have happened to her. You don't say. <gasps> Mecco won't let her stay alive. How about this? You take Danny's place and help me collect materials. Materials. Making a spacecraft, you need a lot of materials. In exchange, once the spacecraft is done, we'll take you out of this planet. WM69 said he would wait for Danny on the spot. Let me persuade him to come help you with me. Besides some basic repair, it's of no help. And with faults everywhere. Rude. Uh, you aren't friends? friends? They're mecha weapons. Enemies. You know how many humans they once slaughtered? But he... No, you have just woken up. There are a lot of things you don't know. This planet is very dangerous. And even this place is not absolutely safe. Mecha will find this place sooner or later. Now, the most important thing is to complete the spacecraft as soon as possible and leave here. Also, there are some supplies on the table which you can buy if you need them. If you have anything you need, I'll also pay you. Great, thank you, Matthew. Ooh, explosive copper arrows. Yes, please. Let's put them after my arrows so I use these ones first, but that's gonna be nice. Hopefully I don't blow myself up. Actually, I do want to sell some stuff to you real quick. First off, how much will you take my apples and berries for? So, 132. Sure. Are there any fancy armors here I might like? Okay, I can't even afford these. I'm too poor right now. All right. Cool. Yeah, other things you can do up in Matthew's lab here is, well, there's this thing, which I'm not 100% on what you can do. I do know you can get, like, these gene things and put them in here, but I assume you can, like, create a follower, maybe? And this thing here is basically for when you beat a boss, you can bring a material you get from them to this thing here, and you can basically craft a workbench to get better gear and stuff. It's kind of needed to help you to get to the next boss as well, so kind of important. But yeah, that there is his lab. So for now, we gotta get to collecting materials. More specifically, I wanna get copper. And get some copper armor and stuff like that going, so... That is the plan. Oh, we got a raid coming. Okay. Now to get ready for this raid thing, I think what I'm going to do is build a bunch of walls. So to explain myself a little bit better, basically when there is a raid, it will put a spawner nearby your base. And I just want to put a wall around that and hopefully set up a few traps and stuff so I can collect the resources that they drop. So I'm going to need some wood. So let's get to chopping. 40 should be fine. That's way more than what I'll need probably. Five, four, three two, one. Where are you guys gonna spawn in? Okay, they're over this way. Let's head over and surround them. I'm hoping they don't break blocks. I know some of the guys will. Looks like they're just gonna try and punch me. Oh, they do have weapons though. Okay, I gotta start actually fighting. They're pretty weak. Oh, they didn't drop anything. Okay, let's hope they do drop stuff. Oh, that guy did drop some stuff, so that is good. They do drop things from these. Eh, he dropped some more too. Okay, maybe a little more common than I thought. Now we just gotta wait until we can build like some special trap things. For right now, I'm just gonna put a bunch of these up front and that'll do but later on i will put some actual good traps and stuff out front place it right there and then they'll be dead before they even get out nice but as you can see there's another time limit here basically this kind of just spawns them on top of you i'm pretty sure so i'm just gonna wait for that to go down and then they're gonna start attacking me here and i think after a while they just kind of stop Oh, they're spawning in now. Okay, timer's done. Nothing happened. There's just that one small spot where a few spawned in. That was it. But we got a free spawner out of it, which is really nice. And we can get some money as well as this other material here. So that is awesome. So I can't wait to get some traps that don't actually hurt me as well. That's going to be amazing. But yeah, I'm going to get to what is actually planning to do today, which is gather supplies such as copper so I can get armor and stuff. So let's go ahead and let's collect some stuff. I just spotted this on my map, but we got another another one of those spawner cave things here. It's another boar one. Okay. Oh, I just realized I was cooking food at home and I forgot to bring any of it with me. This is gonna go well. Maybe we can find some cookies down in this house. Oh wow, there's a bear den right there. 
Okay, that is awesome. Because I know bears drop a uh, wool, which is really nice. So I just realized this house here is actually another spawner as well. So we can collect whatever these guys drop, which is this weird green stuff. But yeah, this is going to be a really useful area because we got the boars here. We got a bear spawner here. And then we got these green guys in a spawner thing right here. We also have copper over here. So I'm going to go grab that since I need it. I can't remember how much of this I'm gonna need. All I know is I'm gonna need a lot for the full set. We got a little goblin hideout over here. Let's go say hello to these guys. They got some chests for me too. Hey guys. Oh, one of them's got a bow. And he just stands there as I shoot at him. Not the brightest. Now, what do you guys got? No? We also have drugs yeah. here. All right, cool. So I just found another cool thing. So when you're out exploring, you will find these swirl things on your map. It's basically the exact same thing as the one over here. You can basically just use it to teleport back home. All you have to do is go up to it and activate it, which the entrance to mine is blocked off. I'm starving, so this is actually perfect. Portal 3. Let's rename that to... I think this was West, so I'll just call it West one now let's loot everything in here and i'm gonna go back and get some food because i'm starving because i was very prepared for this adventure and i guess while we're here i may as well just throw my copper inside the thing and let's actually eat up 14 copper what can we make with that let's go take a look we could make none of the armor all right cool okay it only requires six and eight so 12 20 we're gonna need 20 pieces in total that is good to know so we can make two pieces of it we just need some leather as well as some wool i think for right now i'm just gonna go with the copper gloves and the copper boots here and we'll craft up the chest piece later now i did lose my shield i'm assuming that's like a benefit of having the complete leather set six more copper and then i'll switch over to the copper set for right now i'm gonna keep the leather on so i have this extra like shield thing here and there we go let's get back to the adventure now, while looking at the map, something else caught my eye right here. We do have another village, and this one has an animal guy and someone we can buy food from. Yeah, this person will actually sell us food. I can buy, like, one fruit salad for 90 charred things there. So, yeah, not too worth it. I can make that myself and make quite a few of them. Oh, this actually took forever, but I finally found some copper. And more than enough I'm gonna need to craft up that chest piece. So that is awesome. And we're back home. Let's Let's go ahead and smelt up that copper and get the full copper set and we got tons of food to harvest so we're gonna have a lot of food to cook as well oh i literally just trapped myself in the door can't go down can't go up or right or left look at that that's pure skill and there goes the copper now i just need to harvest all this and make the food i can't wait until we get the actual farming tools to harvest this stuff make 11 perfect armor chest piece let's do it and we got the full set so let's get rid of all this stuff here and there we go don't i look amazing yeah with that i would say we are now ready for the boss so let's get our food here eat up because i'm literally the most starved i've ever been in this game now realizing there's one last thing i gotta get before we go to the boss i just need to go get some stone to make a few arrows yeah i'll just meet you guys over at one of the villages now before we get started i can actually analyze a few things one of them being a ranged thing that can increase my ranged attack damage by 10%. So let's get that real quick. Also get another thing under the Iron Man tree. So when hit, decreases opponent's attack speed by 25% for five seconds. So sure, I'll take that. I will probably get these pet things, although I don't have pets right now. It will be useful once I actually get them. So pet's defense increased by 50%. Yes, please. Pet's attack damage increased by 50%. Also got restore one health for you every two seconds. So yeah, I'll take that. A little bit of health regen and i can actually make my first knowledge thing here your building distance increases by two there we go we're all done it's starting to go nighttime Ooh. that's not the greatest that's not gonna be good for youtube i might have to wait till morning for the boss fight but let's go ahead and start raiding this village i'll just avoid the middle for the time being Ooh, we got some giant wheat. I was actually waiting to buy that at like a store or something. But we got it here, which is nice. Now, the good thing about giant wheat, you can actually get more seeds after harvesting it. So that is awesome. It's like really easy to expand. So great for selling. I also got some jungle soft armor. Three defense. Now, if it increased range of damage, I'd consider it. But it doesn't. I'm just going to wear it like that in my other slot there because it kind of looks cool. And since we have a bed here, I'm actually going to go ahead and set my spawn point there 
And we've probably gotten close enough in town to know where the boss is. So yeah, he's way down here. So I'm safe from him up this way. So I'm just going to explore the top bit, see what I can find. Then we're going to go down and say hello to the boss. Oh, this house here has a med kit in it. I'm totally going to go in there and loot that. And hello, med kit. Oh, we got a other thing. Gathering speed increases by 50%. That'll be good for harvesting crops. You know what? Let's go ahead and set our spawn here because the boss is like right there. Now that it's day, I think I'm going to go ahead and jump right on into the boss. I think this is the last guy I'm going to want to clear out. So let's just break him out of here. Get rid of this guy. And then I think I'm good for the boss fight. I think we're ready. So I'm just going to eat up real quick. Make sure I'm nice and full. And I can get some regen and stuff from my food. So swap out the healy items because the bandage is actually better. Let's do some of this here because this increases my attack speed. Now let's go ahead and fight the boss. Let's jump on in. There we go. Now if I get him out here, I'm going to show you a good strategy for if you're a melee guy and happen to have a bit of speed. Basically, he will do like a spear attack like that. You can kind of just run around him like this, which is really OP. It's a thing that you can do. I'm just going to be safe and shoot explosives at him. Really loud explosives. Just make sure I don't get hit by those spikes like that. Don't want that to happen. Oh, these actually like blow up walls. Unless that's him. That is good to know. Don't want to use these at home. There we go. We got him. And he gave us a map to another village. This gene ball should be what we need. Gotta take it to the lab and show it to Matthew. So this is a thing we gotta bring to that machine so we can like progress and stuff. We also got this thing, which is a drop that we can use over here. Lower durability loss on armor. That is nice. But yeah. First boss is defeated. Let's head on back home and we'll go ahead and drop by Matthew's ship there and build the thing we need to progress, the table we need. Oh, that was a quick walk home. I didn't realize how close that place was. I used my med kit by accident. Crap. Like a good healing item too. Ah, doing great today. Doing great. All right, we can unlock this workbench thing here. And with that there, we are able to make the chemistry workbench. So we need wood as well as this stuff here to craft it. I'm just going to set this thing right here. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is get this here, which basically allows us to go underground. We need to get vaccinated to do that. Let's do that. There we go. Now we can go down there safely and not die. Also going to go ahead and craft up a bug net. But as you can see, we can actually craft up a bunch of potions here, which, yeah, you do need the bug net to catch bugs so you can like craft potions and stuff. So yeah, the bug net does have a really good use. But the main thing I want here is actually these here, the fruit harvester things. So these will actually harvest our berry bushes and the fruit trees. I think I'm just going to go for the iron one because that there does the five by five area is talking about and i'm just gonna save my copper and stuff for trap things here so i just need three copper for that and i can start making some traps so i'm just gonna craft up like four of those and i'm gonna set them up at our little thing over here so we can basically just farm these guys endlessly and i don't have to worry about getting hurt by my own traps which is also really nice now they do have to be within like a four block radius i believe so let's just kind of do it like this actually like just surrounding their little spawn in thing yeah it looks kind of like just three of them is good enough to instantly kill guys who spawn in just like that and i can just come in every so often and collect all the junk that happens to uh, be here but anyway now that we beat the first boss i think that's a good place to end it here for today so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed do like and until next time keep having fun everyone see ya